Pigmented veonodular synovitis Pigmented veonodular synovitis This video's text has been produced from a web source that has been shown and cited below. Citation https colon slash slash www.orthobullets.com slash pathology slash 8050 slash pigmented dash veonodular dash synovitis we would like to thank chapter editors jacob triplett and patrick o'donnell summary pigmented veonodular synovitis is a locally aggressive neoplastic synovial disease not a true neoplasm characterized by joint effusions expansion of the synovium and bony erosions the condition usually presents in patients between 30 and 40 years old with recurrent atraumatic knee hemarthrosis. Diagnosis is multifaceted with clinical assessment for joint effusion, most commonly the knee. MRI studies showing synovial expansion, arthrocentesis revealing a brown fluid, and biopsy revealing hemosiderin stained multinucleated giant cells. Treatment generally consists of partial or total surgical synovectomy depending on presence of localized or diffuse PVNS. Etiology, pathophysiology, pathobiology, caused by an overexpression of CSF1 gene overexpression leads to clusters of aberrant cells creating focal areas of soft tissue hyperplasia in the synovial cells lining joints a locally aggressive neoplastic synovial disease, not a true neoplasm. Genetics, mutations, locations of chromosome 1p13 in majority of cases 5q33 chromosomal rearrangement. Presentation, history. 50% of patients will have a prior history of trauma to the area symptoms. Common symptoms, insidious onset of pain in affected joint. Stiffness in the affected joint. Swelling in the affected joint. Recurrent atraumatic hemarthrosis is hallmark of disorder. Physical exam, inspection, joint effusion, erythema, palpation, tenderness along joint line, motion, limited motion of affected joint. Imaging, radiographs, recommended views, app and lateral of affected joint. Findings, soft tissue swelling, may show cystic erosion with sclerotic margins on both sides of the joint. Compturized tomography. Indications. To evaluate for extent of cystic bone loss findings may show cystic erosions on both sides of the joint similar to radiographs. MRI. Indications. Most sensitive imaging study. Provides excellent delineation of both intra-articular and extra-articular disease. Findings. Reveals joint effusion, hemosiderin deposits, expansion of the synovium, and bony erosion low signal intensity on T1. Due to hemosiderin deposits presence of fat signal, T1, within the lesion. The sagittal T1 sequence shows the low signal lesions within the ankle joint suggestive of pigmented veonodular synovitis. Low signal intensity on T2. Blooming artifact. Signal loss on gradient echo sequences. Because of iron in hemosiderin. Extra articular extension. Commonly see posterior extension. Outside of the knee joint of an intra articular process. Studies. Labs. CRP and ESR. Often normal despite signs of soft tissue swelling. Arthrocentesis. Indication. Recurrent hemarthrosis. Findings. Grossly bloody effusion. Diagnostic arthroscopy. Indications. Gold standard for diagnosis. Synovial biopsy should be performed. Findings. Brownish or reddish inflamed synovium is typical of PVNS. Frond-like pattern of papillary projections. Histology. Gross histology. Shows a proliferative mass extending from the synovium. Low power. Mononuclear stromal cells infiltrating the synovium. Highly vascular villi lined with plump hyperplastic synovial cells. High power, hemosiderin stained multinucleated giant cells, pigmented foam cells, lipid laden histiocytes, mitotic figures common. Treatment, non operative, observation, indications, asymptomatic disease only, CSF1 receptor antagonist, pexidotinib, indications, approved in 2019 for use in patients with extensive disease who are not likely to benefit from surgical intervention. 
Operative. Partial sinovectomy. Indications. Local form of PVNS. Technique. If lesion is accessible from anterior knee, this is can be done arthroscopically. Posterior or extra articular lesions should be performed open total sinovectomy plus or minus external beam radiation indications. In grossly symptomatic and painful disease. Technique. Total sinovectomy is classified as marginal excision. Techniques range from arthroscopic to fully open. Total sinovectomy depending on extent and location of disease. Outcomes. Improved functional and range of motion. Outcomes with arthroscopic technique. Frequent recurrence is common. Mostly due to incomplete sinovectomy. External beam irradiation. Technique. 30 to 35 grays in 15 fractions or 50 grays in 25 fractions. Outcomes. When combined with total sinovectomy, reduces rate of recurrence to 10 to 20 percent. Techniques. CSF1 receptor antagonist, pexidotinib. Technique. Oral medication taken once daily for 24 weeks showed significant improvement in PVNS disease burden in approximately 40 percent of patients. Complications. Cholestatic hepatotoxicity was a noted side effect of the drug. Arthroscopic sinovectomy of knee for PVNS. Approach. Routine arthroscopic portals for knee, ankle, and shoulder. Technique. Perform as thorough resection of synovium as possible through portals. Can be challenging to access the posterior portions of the joint or extra articular disease. Open posterior sinovectomy of knee for PVNS approach. Posterior approach to the knee via transverse or S-shape incision across popliteal fossa. Approach between medial and lateral heads of gastrocnemius. Retract neurovascular bundle to access posterior joint capsule. Technique. Disease is often seen posterior and extra-articular to the knee. Complete posterior sinovectomy and resection of extra-articular disease. Complications. Posterior approach to the knee places popliteal neurovascular bundle at risk. Complications. Recurrence. Incidence. Recurrence is the most frequent complication for both intra-articular and extra-articular disease 30% to 50% recurrence rate despite complete sinovectomy same rates for complete open versus open plus arthroscopic. Rates can be reduced with addition of external beam radiation. Joint destruction. Moderate to severe joint deformity. Treatment. May lead to the need for arthrodesis or amputation. Skin necrosis. Radiation-induced sarcoma. Risk factors. Radiation therapy. Prognosis PVNS is associated with a high rate of recurrence and accelerated degenerative changes of the knee ultimately requiring arthroplasty. TKA in patients with PVNS is associated with complication rates. Thank <laughs> you.